Welcome to our podcast, where we cover unique and interesting stories. In this episode, we will dive into the science of anger and why venting might not be the best way to reduce it. A recent study challenges the common belief that venting when you are angry can help release strong emotions. Researchers at Ohio State University have discovered that venting does not reduce anger and may even increase it in some cases. The recent meta-analytic review, published in Clinical Psychology Review, concluded after analyzing 154 studies on anger. Brad Bushman, senior author and communication scientist, emphasized the importance of debunking the myth that venting anger helps. According to Bushman, it's really important to challenge the belief that when you're angry, you should blow off steam and get it off your chest. His statement followed the publication of the study's results in April, as reported by Science Alert. Venting anger might sound like a good idea, but there's not a shred of scientific evidence to support catharsis theory. While venting does not help anger, it is still important to acknowledge and reflect on the emotions to feel validated and process them healthily. Some people turn to physical exercise to deal with anger. While it may offer health benefits, it may not improve the mood. To reduce anger, it is better to engage in activities that decrease arousal levels, Bushman said. Despite what popular wisdom may suggest, even going for a run is not an effective strategy because it increases arousal levels and ends up being counterproductive. Inspired by the rage rooms to pursue this study, first author Sophie Kiervik, a communication scientist at Virginia Commonwealth University, wanted to debunk the theory of expressing anger to cope with it. Sophie Kiervik explained, We wanted to show that reducing arousal, and actually the physiological aspect of it, is really important. The team also focused on the cognitive aspects, examining cognitive behavioral therapy, which can be one way of diffusing rage. However, they may not be effective for everyone. Researchers analyzed both arousal increasing like boxing and jogging, and arousal reducing activities like deep breathing and yoga. They found out that calming activities were effective in reducing anger. Kervik has said, it was really interesting to see that progressive muscle relaxation and just relaxation in general might be as effective as approaches such as mindfulness and meditation. It was discovered that arousal-boosting activities did not reduce anger, while some, like jogging, even increased it. Researchers suggest exertion may be more beneficial if the activity is fun like ball sports. Bushman said, it's really a battle because angry people want to vent, but our research shows that any good feeling we get from venting actually reinforces aggression. While further study is needed to confirm these findings, researchers recommended calming techniques to be the best option to tone down temper. Thanks for tuning in. If you enjoyed this episode, be sure to subscribe and share your thoughts in the comments. Stay connected for more exciting discussions and updates in our next podcast.